Unify Protect 6.2 is now available for you to download and there's some really interesting features that are coming about in this. There is more around granular permissions, Shopify POS integration, real-time incoming bit rates, Edge AR latency and active session widgets. Let's break down some of the new things that have come about. So as I mentioned, we have more granular permissions, Shopify POS integration, real-time incoming and bit rate edge latency widgets in the dashboard. And again, we'll have a look at those. We have a real-time active session as well, platform level state preservation during the active session and then some new triggers and actions in Alarm Manager and then critical notifications in mobile apps via Alarm Manager. You're now able to exclude zones from smart detections. Again, we'll take another look at that. And then there's now some additional features for some PTZ controls. So you can do some preset reordering, PTZ to auto stop while configuring zones, added support for returning home setting after period of inactivity, local time and weather in the playback so you can see if you need that information, added support for syncing thumbnails across timelines and added support for batch selection from playback and find anything for adding to a case. Improved find anything user experience including optimized filter panel, device management user experience, case manager enhanced filtering and system logs enhanced filtering. There's a few other features around system notifications, playback in the mini UX, hiding controls when it's, there's no interaction from a user and then improved optical zoom for control. So we will cover most of these in this video. So let's start with the granular admin permissions. And if we go to users, create new user, and then you can see admin, we can use some predefined roles if that's what we wanna use, but we wanna look at creating a new role and what some of the features are. So if we look in protect we can go to custom now we can see within here some certain application permissions that you can choose from in terms of alarm manager find anything case manager if you want to specify certain devices how you want the live stream to work so do you want live stream audio or ptz control same in terms of playback so do you want them to have audio do you want them to have the ability to download and delete footage and then we have the option to edit device settings and remove devices so you can make as many of these type of roles that you need to see fit for your setup Next, we have Shopify integration and we have a little integration button down here in the bottom left hand corner and you can see we have Shopify POS. So we have the seam logging tool. So it looks like they've changed the whole area of where the integration sits. So hopefully there's more integrations coming soon. But in terms of what we have for the seam, you can click on here and you can see it's internally stored at the moment. We're not going to an external seam yet. But to set up the Shopify POS, you would go to setup and then you would connect it in here to enable Shopify POS integration, connect your Shopify account with the API key. So you need the shop URL, API admin token access, API key and API secret. And that will then get set up there. Unfortunately, I don't don't have a Shopify store to be able to test this with, but maybe something I might be able to test and demo out in the future. If that's something you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. Next is the real time bit rate and edge AI latency, and that's this little box just here. You can see the current bit rate, and what that does is it combines the bit rate of all camera streams sent to your console locally. So everything that's coming across the network, you can see I currently have about 19 megabits per second. In terms of edge AI latency, this basically shows you how many detections are being processed. So if we highlight over something, you can see detections processed as eight the average latency and the max latency that takes active sessions you've probably seen this up here already that's just right there so active sessions all users currently connected to this console multiple simultaneous users watching streams can increase cpu and bandwidth usages so if you're seeing you have maybe a performance issue or you just want to see who's logged in at what point you can see straight from here. So I have nine active video streams and one active connection. So there's some new triggers and actions in Alarm Manager. The ones that I've noticed so far is the button press down here. So we have a single press, long press or double press. And these are on the door sensors and the environmental sensors. So you can choose that with any of those. And I'm gonna roll into the critical alert of this one as well. So when you go to notify, you now have this option for critical alert. And what that does is this alarm will notify you even if your phone is in silent mode. So if there's something that you definitely want to be alerted, when something happens, this critical alert is gonna be the one that you need to tick. Now adding in exclusions in the smart zones, you can see if you go within the settings of a camera, go to smart zones, click on add, and then you can actually have the exclusion zone right here, which basically ignores detections in this area, uses to suppress false positives or unnecessary alerts within the smart zone. So if you're finding something is triggering something that isn't quite right and it shouldn't be doing it, then you can exclude it from the zone. And if I give you down here in the bottom right hand corner, it gives you the playback and the weather, that's something new that's been added in. In terms of the system logs, you have more filtering options. I don't know how many of these are actually new to this version, but you can see down here, we have devices you can select from in terms of admins, you can choose the type of detection you want, any audits, 
and then you have the option for severity as well. That pretty much wraps up the features that I can show you in Unify Protect 6.2. There may be a few others that I haven't been able to show you in this instance, but if there's something else you want to see in a little bit more detail, let me know down in the comments below. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.